Hello and uh, welcome to our uh, new video and uh, in this video uh, I will be discussing uh, some very key things about LT throughput and uh, usually uh, in optimizing your LT networks as you all would have done at uh, some point of uh, time or will do usually it is around the uh, radio uh, network quality that we are playing around how to improve the throughput it's more of improving the coverage improving the quality reducing the interference and things like this and secondly it might be capacity in terms of that you have a congested network in terms of your uh, radio resource block usage but another important aspect which can have a massive impact on your throughput is your pdcch channel or in other words one of the control channel which is your physical downlink control channel so which is called p d c c c h so now the first question which is the introduction of uh, pdcch is that what exactly what pdcch does so pdcch is actually used by the e node b to communicate to your user that there is a data uh, in the buffer that is coming or is being scheduled for that particular UE. So it will give that information in terms of a particular format and it will also tell the UE in which particular uh, resource block this data is going to be transmitted. So in terms of uh, the concept you can see that this is your base station and this is your UE and this is your downlink PDCCH and you can say that it is the scheduling grant. So now you know that the scheduling grant for the UE is sent via the PDCCH. So this is a critical channel that enables the UE to know that a data transmission is coming from that UE. So for example, I will give an example that your E node B does not have any PDCCH to use. What will happen? The thing that will happen is that your E node B cannot communicate that I have data for you and I want to schedule that data in a particular resource block for you. So as a matter of fact, the resource blocks might be available but you do not have any PDCCH capacity to send that PDCCH to the UE. This is one scenario which covers the capacity. The other scenario is that the PDCCH is sent to your UE, but UE, your UE or your phone cannot decode it. So once it cannot decode it, then the problem becomes that G -node B is, E node B is sending your PDCCH and then it is also sending out with the data as well. But your UE never received that uh, PDCCH because of uh, bad coverage, interference or anything. And therefore, will not listen to that uh, transmission and therefore, your throughput will degrade. So then, as now we have introduced the concept of PDCCH, then we introduce that how this throughput impact will, will impact when we have a coverage scenario for PDCCH and then we have a capacity scenario for PDCCH. So in the coverage scenario, in the coverage scenario, what we want to do is that we want to make it robust, decodable, and in sync. So how this thing is actually implemented in your 3GPP specifications is actually your CCEs, which is 1, 2, 4, and 8. So the question is, what is a CCE? So CCE is basically your control channel element, and I have done another separate video on that in terms of control channel element. You can look into my <coughs> channel for that. So CCEs are like, you can say, stack of, uh, you can say, error uh, you can say protection against error so if you have a bad radio condition you will use more cces to transfer or transmit that pdcch for example you have a very bad radio condition then you will use eight cces to transfer or transmit a pdcch to a ue if you have a less radio uh, 
degradation you can use four if you have ideal radio conditions you can use by one so now you can see that this is how you can improve your PDCCH performance when you are uh, dealing with situations where you have challenging coverage uh, conditions and what can happen in your network what can impact your throughput is that for example you have and these these CCEs are actually decided by the estimated SANR so when your UA is sent out a, a reference signal to estimate the channel <clears throat> then a, uh, an estimate is built up of the radio conditions and based on that your uh, G or E or B will decide either I go for 8, 4, 2 and 1 and where does the tuning part come? Tuning part comes the link between the S A and R. So if you link this CC for example you have set a very aggressive uh, threshold for SNR for usage of CC8. For example, you say that only if the SNR is below neck 10 dB, only then I use CC8. What will happen is that even in very challenging radio conditions, you will be using 4, 2 or 1, depending on how it is calculated, which can result in poor detection of your PDCCH and which can in the end result in poor throughput. So you know, poor throughput and also poor traffic uh, as well. So what you can do is to improve this uh, situation is that tune your thresholds for the selection of this particular CCE. So if you have a site which is going, which is covering a very long, uh, very large area and you have set, you can tune this, uh, these, uh, this uh, scenario so that uh, your UEs uh, get the robust the most robust uh, CCEs for the transmission of uh, PDCCH. So this is how you uh, carry the coverage part. Now what about capacity? How can capacity impact? How can capacity of PDCCH impact your throughput? Let's have a look at that. Capacity. So what do we mean by capacity of PDCCH? By capacity of PDCCH we mean that we have of course limited number of resources so if you see the resource block structure if this is the time domain this is the frequency domain usually first of the few symbols of your slot we have around seven OFDM symbols in a time slot and then in that seven OFDM uh, in the subframe sorry so in that uh, seven symbols usually there are symbols reserved for PDCCH but of course we have limited resources so what if the PDCCH resources are all consumed? In that case, we the E node B cannot inform your UE that we have a scheduling grant that we want to send you. There is data for you in the E node B that needs to be sent out. So what will happen? The throughput will degrade and the traffic generated on that E node B will dip. So what we need to do in that scenario is again go back to how we are using our CCEs 1, 2, 4 and 8. So for example if your E node B is using a lot of CCEs that means that it is consuming that PDCCH capacity. So one thing we can look out is to reduce this CCE usage and again it goes back to the relationship with the SANR. Of course, in many, uh, many vendors, there are a number of features, but we are not going to discuss that. We are only focused on how to de develop this theory and what to look for. So once this capacity of PDCCH is choked, what you will see is that your usual congestion, which is related to your resource blocks, you will not see that. So you will see that the resource blocks are not going, uh, you can say, are not maxing out but still your throughput of your site is choked. So in that scenario, you might have this problem where you need to tune up your uh, CC channel, control channel element usage. You want to bring it down from CC8 to CC4, 2 or 1, and then that will give you more PDCCH capacity. Once you have more PDCCH capacity, that will result in your scheduling grants being sent out to your UE. And once your scheduling grant is sent out to the UE, your UE now knows that data is coming 
and then of course it can go through the process of throughput and of course the traffic will recover. These are of course uh, tested scenarios and you can definitely uh, look into this to improve throughput in some of the situations where you see. So in all, uh, in all uh, of this video what we have seen is that how PDCCH plays a very important role in generating traffic from your eNodeB, improving the amount of traffic that your eNodeB can gen generate and also number two, the throughput. So throughput might be impacted in the downlink by your usual resource block congestion, your radio conditions but one thing very important is your control channel elements and today we have seen the PDCCH which is your downlink control channel. In one of my next videos I will go through the uplink control channel which is PUCCH and how PUCCH capacity and PUCCH correct detection can cause a lot of issues uh, and also can uh, degrade your throughput. One side item of this is that if you have PDCCH capacity or coverage or any other problems this can also cause you latency issues uh, in your network and in order to improve uh, the latency, in order to improve the response time between you know, be sending out the scheduling request, being data being received and then getting the whole uh, link together, you always need to see on your PDCCH capacity and also on your PDCCH correct detection. So I hope today's video would have helped you in your work in terms of uh, uh, optimizing your LT networks. And of course, uh, the, the online training that I am developing, I will include more details in terms of how these CCEs uh, are calculated and what kind of, uh, uh, you can say, performance indicators you might see to check for the particular usage. Thank you so much uh, for listening in. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel and do leave a comment if you want to look, go through any other particular topic in terms of uh, optimization, design or call flows. Thank you, thank you so much and see you next time.